<laughs> Where in Seattle are you from, by the way? I'm from Auburn. Uh, I grew up in Auburn. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm just outside uh, Sammamish. Do you get a chance to go back there very often? Um, like, not a lot. I think uh, I'll be back, like, for the holidays. But um, I've just been focused here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once we move here, that's what's funny. Is it was kind of a, a culture shock moving here from Auburn. But mm-hmm. it was more of a culture shock when I went back to visit after living here. I live in Studio City. Yeah, oh, sweet. So, yeah, so, but it's, it's, it's it was weird coming here, but it was even more weird going back. Yeah, yeah, dude. Going back to that, just Washington area, it's like, I don't know. It feels like I like living here more because um, – just like what I do, I feel like more involved in everything that's happening and uh, less of like missing out, um, and especially like for the, the music scene, like everything that's happening is like here. And so um, I wouldn't want to be in like rain. Trees. Yeah, the trees. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, no, like it's not like the biggest difference, but it just kind of feels like off to me um, at the same time. So. I think, yeah, my dreams feel like more realistic here, um, for sure. Yeah, it's almost like a little, at least for me, because Auburn is, I mean, similar, you know, I mean, it's trees and it's like kind of Just a like time kind of, warp uh, going back. It's, it's really yeah, cool. yeah, for sure. But we're here now. Vibes. We're here now. So oh, what, yeah. where about in LA do you live? Like what, what part of town? Are you, are you Valley or? I'm in, I'm in Hollywood right now. You are? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How do you like it's it? It's a, yeah. it's all right. Like, um, I'm kind of experiencing a lot here. Like, um, my, my car was stolen, like, not too long ago, um, out of my apartment. Like, no kidding. Yeah. So I was, I was upstairs, like, sleeping, and um, it was like 10 a.m. Someone broke in here from the patio, and, um, walked into my apartment took my keys off my coffee table and then took like a long board and then tried to take my tv um because the cords were like dangling from under um and then he got away and just like clicked around in the parking garage found my car and then drove off with it and then i woke up two hours after that happened and just went about my day i was like can't find my keys that's weird and for five days i was just like i don't have my keys and so I called a tow truck to come down and like tow my car to the dealership so I can get a new key. And then I was guiding the truck down to my parking spot. And then I look and see that my spot was just empty. And even then that's when I like kept blaming myself. I was like, okay, where did I leave my car? Right, right. I'm so dumb. And so, um, yeah, that's, so they, they were actually in your house though, while you were sleeping. Yeah. So I, uh, I was just like, I just, yeah, I woke up after the fact. And then um, that's when I was like, okay, I think it got stolen because I'm retracing my steps and I got home this time, didn't drive my car and now it's gone. Um, And then, yeah, we go through security footage and even here, um, I uh, I named my car Susan. So there's a story highlight on my Instagram called Susan with like a broken heart. see this guy just like walk in next slide walk in look how sketchy he looks and then look how um, comfortable he looks though at the same time then, he's so chill and casual and then yeah it was it was found just crashed um about seven days after it was uh taken damn man wow uh, what a crazy feeling of violation and then i know it's so crazy but i gotten really good at locking my back door <laughs> yeah when well, that's something like that happens though i mean your home it starts to feel different at least for a little while how how long ago is that um probably like like two months ago or so all right so you're starting um, to feel normal again to a point but yeah kind of yeah we're good welcome uh-huh. to la bro <laughs> yeah <that's just laughs> i was i've been here for like a year and eight months but in Hollywood for about like five months or so. Um, before I was, I was in Venice or just Marina del Rey, um, the oh, West yeah. Side area. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, I think it's a welcome to Hollywood. Yeah, check. man, it really is. That's freaky. 
Well, I mean, yeah. I was going to say, how do you like it? But I guess that sums that up. What about, <laughs> um, are you feeling healthy, happy, and eating good? Yeah. Out? What, do you, what do you do for, like, do you eat good? Uh, my diet's kind of, like, all over the place. Um, I kind of eat what, like, sounds good for me, which I think that'll catch up to me. Uh, just In, like, fine. 20 years. Don't worry about it, dude. You're fine. <laughs> but um, I think working out, I want to, like, get into I, – I got a skateboard yesterday. I used to skate when I was younger, but it um, feels good to get back on some wheels. Um, and so, yeah, I think – Today, my friend and I are going to hit a skate park and just, like, I want to get good at skating. I think that's, like, a goal of mine. Um, everyone's picked up something new in quarantine, but um, maybe that's fine. Yeah. And that's, some, that's, some, that's, like, doing some cardio without even realizing you're doing cardio. Yeah, right? Because you you're, like, right, I want to land this trick. Like, yeah. all right, I want to stop. Yeah, so, right. That's huge. Um, man, you got such a cool story. And just to kind of, you know, the, the, the brief version of it that I at least read. So after high school, your plan was to go to Arizona mm -hmm. and do some, uh, do some tech college. You busted yeah. your leg or something, right? How did you do that? Yeah. So I, I didn't have good grades at all coming out of high school. Um, in what fact, high school, by the way, what, where'd you go to East Lake high school? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you familiar? I, I know the name. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, it's, it's on the plateau and the plateau has skyline, Eastside Catholic, um, Skyline Spartans, uh, Eastside East Side Crusaders, um, and East Lake Wolves. Um, but uh, yeah, here we are talking about like, but um, everyone listening. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> man, I, I get that. That's kind of, that's, I like that connection to back home. Yeah. Um, I don't want to go back there to have it. <laughs> yeah. So how did you break um, your leg though? How'd that happen? So I was... I was like, okay, I need to go to school. And then I was like, I'll go to Arizona for this computer science school. Stoked on that plan. And then um, that August of 2018, I was on a scooter. And um, I was like on this hill, like like a residential hill, like not too steep, but I was doing a, like a manual down it. And then um, I just like lost balance and then like took a step and I don't know what happened. I just snapped my tibia and my fibula and it was a compound fracture completely snapped. Like I kicked up at myself in the fall and then like my shin down kicked up again at me. Like oh, no, it did like a whole other like knee reverse. From knee. <laughs> and then um, I was like, whoa, <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wasn't able to go to uh, um, what's it called? Arizona after that. So you're kind of laid up for a few months? A few months and then... Um, and is it, that when you started like making tracks? Because it, yeah, and yeah. This is a kind of like these these tracks like, um, you know, like white sands and... and yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, so. and, and warm snow. Because these are really airy atmospheric tracks. And I'm thinking, oh, oh Jesus, that's when all the pain meds kicked in. Yeah, those were like Percocet tracks for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever uh, inspires you man right yeah but um producing has been a part of my life since i can like remember like 12 years old and then sophomore year of high school it's when i like took it more seriously um but during that this time of me like in my bedroom kind of just locked up and like relieving the pain i made these songs and um kind of put it together in this EP called Bedroom. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad because that was like the music I used to make. And that was like my SoundCloud days. Like I didn't really have anything on Spotify. Um, and then I just like, just, yeah, I made these forced tracks while I was just like, I don't know. Like it was an interesting time. Like it was how I was feeling and like, it was weird. So it's cool to talk to you about it too, because you're, you're from the area. But this was just like September, October of 2018 in Washington, just gloom, so gloomy and rainy. And I was like, just in my bed, just like, same day was the same, like broken leg, unable to move. Like all my friends had just had their like goodbye 
goodbyes and like left to their colleges and it was like right that's it's like not a usually dark. a place where people linger too long so yeah it was like very like it was a dark time for sure because it was like extreme like they call it fomo and with that it was like just painkillers and so like, it was like dude this is like weird and so the only way i, I kind of just saw music as like a canvas and so it was like this like really trippy music and that's where the atmosphere came from. Yeah, and you know what? Doing that type of music, not to be mm -hmm. judgmental, but that area yeah. is not really known for that type of music coming from it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what an interesting like type of music to capture and, and just having those wide... I mean, even the yeah. same with Auburn. Auburn was either like really heavy gangster rap or country and so yeah <laughs> and i'm all over the place with with music i'm movie scores yeah. i'm you know artists like bt hybrid that i that i grew up loving and listening to but mm -hmm. it's not that area and you start to feel really lonely mm -hmm. in your music tastes yeah it was an interesting space um but after i was able to walk again i started working at um I went to Bellevue College after, like, with a boot on, and um, I went and worked at, it was the oh, same time fancy. I went to Bellevue College, yeah, and then um, worked at PacSun and at uh, Bellevue Square Mall, and then um, that wasn't too long before my friend who had lived down here was like, dude, you should come and move in with us, um, and he was a singer, and I moved in with three other producers that, like, went here for production school. Um, at a school called Icon Collective. They like teach you Ableton, how to make house music and about the business. But um, I felt it was like kind of a cool environment. And so I moved in with everyone. And that was- uh, oh, Why not? Why yeah, not that was about it? like worst, a year and eight months ago. Yeah, worst case you go back and yeah. not go for yeah, it. Yeah, so that's you, when man. I like- I don't, mean, I don't mean to sound condescending, but good for you for being <laughs> that young. I left, I left and I moved to Eastern Washington when I was 20, so it's heavy it's a lot sweet it's it's a lot to yeah, do with emotionally I, I get it yeah my my brother i'm the youngest of five kids so my oldest brother he's 32 um and he went to eastern out of uh he went to skyline for high school and then went straight to eastern um for college and he played football there it's crazy and yeah it's uh what i know it's crazy to talk to you about this yeah right being that local yeah um what do your friends think of all this that's happening with you right now? Or do you, or do you just say, screw you guys. I got new friends down here. No, <laughs> batch. I definitely know, you know, who was there before everything yeah. happened. And like, and that includes the people I like moved down with um, and people I was living with currently, like, or not currently, but when it was all happening, like who I was living with then. Um, but there is like a contrast of those people versus people who are like hitting me up now. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, it's been cool, you know. Everyone's really proud of me, and um, it's it's always really cool to hear. Um, a lot of people send me like videos of like themselves hearing it on the radio. And oh, like, dope! Oh. Yeah, yeah. What's the, weird, really the weird cool. one? What's the weirdest place that people have sent you a video hearing your song? Like a Trader um, Joe's? Wow, well, there's one time like that. Or... Yeah, was well, one time I was. Uh, <laughs> actually are you maybe familiar with the artist named medicine no um he's he's really he's such a great producer he makes stuff on uh soundcloud he's like he's toured around with like other djs but he sent me like a video of himself like seeing it Oh my gosh, here it is. He's at like a bowling alley and like above the bowling pins is like a screen and it was like playing my song and he was just like, um, like in LA, was that local? Oh shit. Yeah. What a trip. There's like a bowling alley in here. <laughs> wow. It was that like, that like, is a trip. Yeah. That, that looks like, that looks like pins over on Ventura or something. That's what it looks like. I don't know. Yeah. Um, that there's another one of uh this person was in disneyland and like there was a huge screen like just huge like around where people would like walk around and then it was just like the music video and i was wow like, that's cool man <laughs> cool. 
Are you, are you single? What's your situation? You, you, uh, yeah, I'm married to the game right now. Attaboy. <laughs> you don't need that crap. You don't, you don't need that. One day you want to get married and kids and all that stuff? Uh, I think so. Someone asked me that like two interviews ago, but I think so, dude. Like, yeah, <laughs> I would say so. Yeah, one day. That's cool. By the way, speaking of that, how's your, like, are your parents cool with this? Are they, are they, are yeah, they they're, watching this still? Yeah, for sure. They're like very supportive, um, especially because my dad's like, huge into music and um like kind of got me into it in the first place and so uh, i think it's really cool for him to see and then um my mom as well my mom had never listened to like the radio until now where she just kind of like looks out for the song um and when she does she like lets me know and it's it's really cool um but They're yeah probably like i remember when that song the original came out oh <laughs> is that how you heard it by the way is that or does something you just picked up on it was uh, like like um, the original Frankie Valley song. Um, I was aware of it, yeah, and I'd heard it around. Um, but this rendition of it came about when I was uh, I was scrolling on like the app TikTok, and the artist Emily um, had uploaded a version of like just herself in her room, like covering the song, and um, I just like loved her take on it and. Yeah um she, she was getting like a lot of attention for that cover initially and so um i just like downloaded the audio and like remixed it and like made it a thing and w without even her knowing uh she didn't know but she oh. she and I, like got together and like distributed it from there so you had to and make so, that call and go um by the way i made this track what if she would yeah, said no what if she would have said hell no then yeah. you would have been sitting on this track it would have been a white label you know you would have had to push it out somehow <laughs> yeah it's been a it's been a trip in that matter for sure yeah. um, what a great artist to pick to use though emily it's uh, emily yeah. Flint, she's she's got this such a great voice that it sounds why it sounds good when you add like some extra yeah. you know wide rebirth and stuff and even some totally even some you know grain synths or kind of granular synthesis it's just it, it adds yeah. something to it to a soft female voice like that but it's her totally. voice is so true to her actual voice yeah uh, yeah yeah she um and that's like what i really like captured about the original tiktok too is like her cover i shouldn't say tiktok but was that her take on it was like something like i've never heard before um and she has like her own artist project where she a lot of her other songs are like kind of the same vibe and um yeah she's she's been killing it so yeah she's dope she's but she doesn't try too hard you know? yeah she's, definitely. She's being very much herself because i mean i don't want to talk trash about other artists yeah so yeah some of them you can tell them talking is very different from them singing but hers is it's it's very true to it. yeah it's cool. totally that's a really that's a really good point yeah it's cool hearing that stuff and now here you are tiktok videos blowing it up now you're making bazillions uh, <laughs> like, what's something that you bought that you were just like i shouldn't have bought that but fuck it um i don't know i've kind of got like like i guess like upgrading like my speakers like i i had like these rocket krk five inch cones and now i have like now you yamaha. got the pro like the yamahas man those it, are yeah those eights or tens what are those are five maybe eight inches yeah um yeah, those are sick. Maybe like a monitor. Like I plugged into this like monitor here and produced there instead of like a like a curved monitor instead of like a flat monitor. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. I like it, man. That's good. And then that's like an IKEA table. You got all that set up back there. I recognize all that. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize those guys yeah. on the on the table. So well, hopefully, when the world gets back to normal, you can pop into the iHeart building in Burbank and. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love that.